So I really liked science growing up and in high school. Um, it just, I was drawn to it. Um, around that time, my grandfather was diagnosed with lung cancer and he was in India and I really didn't get to see much of his care. Um, and you know, that curiosity of kind of being involved, having a family member, but still being removed from his care drew me um, to learn more about it. One of the things that really drew me to oncology was that in a short period of time, you're seeing people very frequently, sometimes every week, every two weeks, every couple of months um, at most, really so that you know, we follow up on the scans and how the cancer's doing and how treatment's going and you know, keeping a close eye on symptoms. And that really allows me to dedicate time to getting to know a person and, and build that relationship. When I see you in the clinic, my goal really is to help come up with a plan together um, so that it's something that's going to work for your life. Um, you know, everybody is busy and cancer tends to really just throw a wrench in everything, but I want to preserve as much of your routine and your day-to-day -day life and prioritize what's important to you outside of all of the medical stuff. So we want to make sure that we have a plan that's going to work with your lifestyle. So the first initial meeting, I really want to get to know my patients. I want to get to know who's at home with them. You know, are they working? What do they do for work? What's important to them? Um, you know, are, do they have a dog? Are they running? And, and that's important because even though, you know, it's not necessarily about the cancer, it's, it's about the person and I'm treating the person, not just the cancer. My favorite part of the job is definitely the patients. It's just the people that I meet. Um, but, you know, right alongside that is the people that I get to work with that work here. We have an amazing group, um, both within oncology with our physicians, nurses, care coordinators. That camaraderie is just unparalleled.